Welcome back everyone to the 2023 Twin Cities Film Fest red carpet and I am talking to some of our film fellows, future filmmakers and uh, they're under our, our guidance, our tutelage here and uh, Chris is going to be the first one. And now Chris, do you feel any pressure? You're the first film, film fellow to be interviewed. I'm, I'm used to being interviewed. I've done public speaking since I was very young, so this is kind of the norm for me. So is filmmaking an extension? It sounds like you already had a voice. Yes, um, I'm a little bit more used to being in front of the camera, so being behind it is a little tougher. There's a lot more to learn and a lot more things that go on in the background. Excellent. Now, how long? W is, is this a dream that started recently? Is it evolved into it, or is it something that you've wanted to do for a long time? I've wanted to do it since I was very young. I was always a huge fan of movies growing up, watching the same things over and over again on VHS tapes back in the day. Yeah. Um, we destroyed those things. <laughs> and so watching uh, everything new coming out of Hollywood and all the things locally that are made is very, very inspiring. Fantastic. I love it, Chris. Now, Chris, qu quick question. If someone were to play you in the movie of your life, who, who would you want to play you? Who can bring it? Everyone in my family looks very similar, and I have a lot of actors in my family. I would probably say my cousin Jared would do a very good job. So all right. A little bit of a cop-out, but... I don't think that's a cop-out at all, and it's smart. Keep the money in the family, right? We've learned that, you know? I mean, it kind of worked for the Jacksons. Okay. <laughs> Terrible joke. All right. And our second filmmaker. Okay, introduce yourself, and then tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and how you became interested in filmmaking. My name is Alondra. I've grown up in the Twin Cities my whole life, but I am Mexican. I was born in Mexico. And I'm studying film and theater at Augsburg University right now. Fantastic. Now, were you, was theater first, film first, kind of together? How did it work for you? Film was always first. That's what I always uh, loved when I was little, and that's what intrigued me. But then theater is more accessible. Unfortunately, but also fortunately, because then it's also given me a lot of opportunities to just flesh out my ideas as an artist and there's a lot more opportunities in just like locally for theater so it's it's fed into each other a lot fantastic I love that so you it, it seems like that's kind of a commonality between the both of you all right so tell our audience a little bit your name and then how did you you know did you get a calling how did it happen for you that you wanted to be a filmmaker Hi, my name is Gracie, um, and then, I don't know, I've always loved movies my entire life. Um, my dad would bring me to the movies ever since I was, like, five years old. And so when I was about 14, I realized, oh, I want to, like, make something that tells a story. You know, I have a lot to, like, I have a lot of personal stuff I want to share. Like, I have a lot that I feel, like, other people would love to just see and love to experience. And so that's just, I, wanna, I don't know, I want to share stuff. That's kind of what I want to do. Well, and that's what it is, right? Storytelling, filmmaking, we're, you know, theater, uh, engaging in these conversations. That's what we're all that's what we're all looking for. Now, I already asked you your answer on who would play you in a movie. That's your cousin Jared. Okay, do you have an answer for us? I can't think of a specific person, but anyone who can match the hair. That's the my Oh yeah. Well, that is the move, right? Because that hair is be Well, maybe you just have to play yourself. Um, <laughs> acting. <laughs> Well, you know what? It is a lot of pressure, too. Okay, do you have an answer for yourself, Gracie? I want to see Martin Short in a wig. That's what I want to <laughs> see. Best answer. Oh, my God. I love it. Martin Sh He could. Martin, Martin Short can do anything. Absolutely. Just like these guys. Just like these young filmmakers. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by the red carpet at the Twin Cities Film Fest. We expect great things. I'm Tiffany Norton, and we'll be back in a minute with a